with this beauty of a day we're going to explore Marbella in this video and especially the area that I think is called Puerto Banos and let's get a drive there and we're teleported to the beach of Puerto Banos park the car and this area is super calm or there's not many people probably out of season winter time kind of thing and yeah just very nice to explore and i'm very interested to go over to that side which will show more of the port and probably some cafes and stuff like that yeah just more exploration With Puerto Banos behind us and having seen all the boats, restaurants, the shops around there, there's a whole lot of thoughts that go through my mind. And one of those thoughts is, do I really want to kind of film myself in those areas? Do I need the photos in front of certain things? I see tourists and travelers always coming places and just snapping away and taking those memories of themselves standing in front of a car, for example. But I want to discuss those thoughts that I had back home because right now we have to get there. I'm just finishing last night's video, but I remember that I still have to finish today's video too. And I wanted to talk about a couple things. So let's do that. This is an interesting one. Uh, we were, as you've seen, in Puerto Banos or Puerto Bano, I'm not quite sure how to correctly pronounce that. But we were there and we looked around, we walked around, we sort of tried to experience what this area has to offer. And especially for me, who is very interesting in the general Marbella area and might actually choose to stay here longer. What we mainly looked at was the beach area, the main road that is like the promenade, as well as the port itself. And um, there are a couple of interesting thoughts around this thing or around this city in general. And those are coming together to kind of like, I want to discuss them in this video and um, want to share my thoughts, my vulnerability, my interests and all that kind of stuff. I want to start with saying that I think that one of the main reasons why I'm interested in Marbella is because of Jon Olsven, the vlogger. And if you're interested and in haven't seen his material, it's kind of unlikely if you're anywhere on YouTube. But I will leave a link in uh, the description where you can check out his YouTube channel as well. And he kind of sparked my interest in Marbella because I can live everywhere. Why not be here? I don't know. I feel drawn to the place, I feel interested. So I came here and I wanted to look at it from a closer viewpoint to actually see what it's like, aside from this one point of view that I see on his videos. So that's kind of like what brought me here. And it also is the aspect that a lot of riches are communicating here and coming together. A lot of rich people retire here uh, a rather like a lot of people make her, their vacation home here um, it's just a generally uh, at least in terms of the expats a very rich environment we can talk a whole lot about the colonization of a place and the problems that come with that and by like external people coming in and driving the money here and stuff like that but that's not a topic for today so I was kind of looking at Portobano and Marbella f through this lens of do I want to stay here longer and I cannot really give you a concrete answer yet because I haven't been in the in the center of it in the connectivity of it I haven't even started connecting around this area but I wanted to get this first feel and the first feel was a lot of um that experience of riches, like the stores that are in Puerto Banu and at the um, at the promenade, the boats and seeing that, it kind of gives me a couple of things. Number one was that I discovered or I'm reminded of this feeling of there are people out there who have money. Recession left and right, but there is people who actually have tons of money and they can spend it on extravagant things. That in turn kind of inspires me that I don't have to be free, for example. I'm 
sometimes struggling with this idea of what if I charge too much? Will I have customers? Will anybody uh, be able to pay my rates and stuff like that? And sometimes I think that comes from living or ha being brought up and growing up in an area that is not that well off and a lot of people around us, like the family circumstance dictate what we experience and maybe they're mosquito. <laughs> Uh, and maybe there was like one or two really rich people in your life. But for me, I generally have the experience that other people are trying to hold me down and keep me from uh, moving towards my dreams more or less unconsciously. They don't even know that. But coming to an area like this, it kind of opens my mind again and it brings me inspiration and desire to start working, keep working and just building what I am already doing. And also just adding on top of that, because I uh, see certain things as experience and the clothing as well as just the possibility of living a lifestyle with less worry. And that is something that I have experienced today again, uh, seeing the things that are here, uh, the people that walk around there, go to the restaurants and things like that. And... To me, that's inspirational and growthful. However, a subject matter that also came up for me was showing and uh, trying to be famous by association. I see a lot of tourists doing this, that they go somewhere and then they stand in front of things and take a photo of something, put themselves next to a Ferrari that is parked somewhere around the port there. Uh, it's this weird thing because it's not even theirs. They just take a photo of something with them together and they stand in front of something. Uh, maybe in case of Jun Olsen, for example, people have tried finding his house and going to his house, either hanging out there, trying to meet him, trying to find the boat that uh, oftentimes comes in the show, Time Out. And I think that just finding those things, connecting with those people, or shaking their hands, it's like it probably is very inspirational, but at the same time, I just don't get it. It's not something that I am here for. It's not something that I am building myself through because it's just fame by association and it's not real. It's not something that I created. It's just the image that someone else has about something else. And that gave me a reminder of my travels over the last two years. Uh, the many times I could have presented myself as if I'm doing oh so well and I go to all these crazy places and I put myself in front of stages and uh, viewpoints and all that stuff. But is that really the value that I'm giving to the world just showing me in cool locations? And I'm noticing more and more that that not really is uh, what I want to make it about. I oftentimes don't even care to film something. I don't really want to take a thousand photos and uh, just make it about that. But what it does to me today, for example, exploring Portubanu with Candace, uh, we talked a lot about the situation around there, uh, how we feel, how this um, seeing those riches, how that makes me feel and how it can inspire me or disinspire to uh, someone else and maybe they are not interested in this place or maybe in the case of Candace she says she can she finds it interesting here but probably not for a very long time and uh, I think those things are much more interesting at the moment to kind of like experience that and then see what comes out of that instead of just putting myself in front of the port and having five boats behind me in a photo. So those things kind of wrap together my experience today and it reminds me once more that showing places and things is not necessarily where I want to be. I want to much more be in the area of building something and sharing knowledge, sharing ideas and exploring more. And those things are happening at the same time, uh, but they're in the background and oftentimes it's hard to see those things because those that go on social media and share a lot there tend to front a certain image and what uh, is happening in the background, you don't really know. And I don't really know.
that kind of goes in line with something that I decided yesterday, which was that I actually deleted Twitter and Instagram from my phone, which means I can only share photos through Buffer, for example. I can still do that. And I also still have Twitter on my computer to kind of like check in with replies, but I don't really look at the um, feed of Facebook, of Twitter or Instagram anymore because I want to kind of focus on the production of things about uh, creating something, building my services, creating courses, making these videos, talking about things, creating a podcast. And I think those are way more valuable than me looking at the feed of other people. That is something that just brings a lot of joy to me and excitement. And I'm very much looking forward to uh, what's to come around all of this with this exploration that we had today, with my deleting of applications, going more minimal and just uh, keeping it tighter and more uh, focus driven, more consciously deciding what and how to do things. <sighs> Overall, I think those explorations are interesting to you. I am also considering more and more, and I have said it before, to do more on my podcast about this. And uh, I'm looking forward to kind of go into that area as well. And yeah, it's all very fascinating. It's all very interesting. Tomorrow we are moving to Tarifa and hopefully the apartment that we are looking at will work out because we don't really have any plans otherwise. And uh, that's about it for now. It's been crazy, but it's been good. And I hope to see you again here tomorrow for another video. Ciao, ciao.